Hey there. How's it going? All right. She's getting chilly. I think it's uh, the 12th of September. Uh, it's zero right now. And it feels like minus two with the wind. So in American, that's... <laughs> We're gonna do a real quick food forest. I uh, I missed last month. Uh, whatever. It's too bad too because it was like super nice looking. I loved it. But Black Eyed Susan's coming in. You can see where the Three Nights of Frost has had a little bit of fun on them. But uh, I was really concerned about those self seeding, and I didn't plant a single one of them this year. So you know, you can see they self seed quite nicely. The wind always blows this direction. So what I'm going to do is when those uh, seed heads are dry, I'm going to take them up into the into the far corner and just let everything kind of let everything kind of blow down. Here's uh, here's all my volunteer sunflowers. I know William, my buddy, was saying that uh, William Collins Gardner a lot uh, was saying that uh, he just he's like never had a volunteer sunflower, and I haven't planted them for a couple of years. I don't know, let's move along here. We got our skull cap, which I may try this year. I've heard it's awesome for headaches. Um, we'll see. I'll cut it and dry it. And you know, I think this one might have had the most heads on it at one time. And, and again, I've been spending most of my time out at the farm. So I really have not, you know, I mean, I don't know. I really haven't. I haven't done a whole lot around here. I got thistle following me everywhere, and I'm really sorry if it's windy. I'll turn my back to it. I hope that helps and hold the hold the camera close. Okay, so Mr. Nick, Nick Salomon Diaries, um, your calendula, sir. I f freely scattered over in this corner, and I was really worried that none of them were going to come up, but they are. So, I mean, hopefully they, uh, like you said, they're they're super prolific, and these guys get used to having their butts frozen off. Got a bunch of poppy seeds. Like, that's so nice, eh? From one plant. I'm, and I'm literally, you wait, wait for it. That stuff dries. I am walking around here. They can come up wherever they want to come up. It's all part of being a forest. So all this dill, any of the dill that you saw up front, any of this dill, that is all volunteer. I, uh, I just don't plant dill. Like, I don't even know what to say. Okay, so, like, those aren't dry yet. These are. Okay, look. There, I'm like I'm planting dill. When these all dry, just take them to the compost and shake them all over the place. You will never be out of dill. This is the only uh, the only apples that we have left. This tree did surprisingly well. This is the very first year that it's ever had apples. Uno dos tres four five siete or something. Yeah, we got a few of them, and I got a a shoot coming off of there. I'll have to look at that next year. I really don't care. Um, Ella Campaign. You should be doing okay next year. Slow grower over here for some reason. But, uh, I don't know. It's tarragon. It's, that is hardy as all get out. I, I don't even know what to say. Hey, if anyone knows what this is, please tell me. This was not planted. There was kale in here the uh, last couple of years. It is the oddest. I've had people ask me as they walk by. I, I don't know. I don't know. And I haven't had uh, any time to look at it. And check it out. Which is this? This is cranberry or the current? I can never remember. Cranberry. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, when I pruned my... Uh, I think when I pruned all my fruit bushes, um, I did it incorrectly because I don't think I got three fruits off this front yard. Which is pretty funny. Here's my little lupin forest. <laughs> They're just everywhere. They are everywhere. Peppers that I planted outside, I'm never doing that again. I think I'm going to turn those boxes into perennial boxes. So uh, I might dig down in there and get some bulbs in this fall. Pokey smudge, it is chilly. My goodness, it's been a while since I've been this cold. Uh, comfrey, you need to be cut. Uh, my cherry tree that had all the blossoms on it earlier in the year, like packed, like white. Yeah. It wasn't a fruit year for me. It was not a fruit year. Not a single one out of there. But you know what? It is what it is. Now, here's my oka from Mr. Scott Huey over in Ireland. And uh, I swear to God, man. Like, I read about it, and it said that this stuff likes the cold, and I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, I got a lot of friends in the South that say, oh, I don't mind the cold. Uh-huh. Whatever. That stuff does not mind the cold. 
I don't know. I, like, it's not looking too bad. This was the only volunteer borage from uh, from last year. Love that plant. Going to be planting more of it. Oh, the bee bomb was so nice. I, I got a bunch of pictures. I'm going to do a uh, Christus Garden, William Coleman, like a little flower update. I was actually not bad at taking pictures this year. You are looking at the purple auric, my favorite spinach in the planet. Like This stuff is just, this is awesome. It's, you know, it's stuff like this. It can be freezing outside, and I look at this, and then all of a sudden I'm happy again. You know what I mean? Here, let's see. All right. I know I'm not a giant, okay, but these things, like this is, this is over six feet. And then in the back, I'll show you a few of those because they're ridiculous. Like they're over eight feet tall. All of these seed pods, as you can see, they slowly, the whole thing slowly turns, slowly dries. Right? So, all those little seed pods dry. And, uh, you know, to be perfectly honest, that actually uh, is probably going to come out. Did I get? Did I tell you guys it's September twelfth? I did bring that up, eh? Okay. So uh, I think this is uh, this is the one with those great big, huge, fluffy dandelion head-looking uh, Western sass sassafri, salsafri. I'll, I'll check it out. I was, I was kind of reading on it. They're super easy to pull out. So I know it's a weed and blah, 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 but whatever. Yanked a few of them out there. I'm going to get this whole area cleared out uh, very, very shortly. I will probably try to stake up and leave uh, the sunflowers because they look so cool when they're all standing up and dead for Halloween and the little kids coming by. Um, sea buckthorn. This has... Psh, probably five times bigger than it was last year and so is the other one so i mean in future years there really isn't going to be a whole lot around here besides you know besides that ah, it's filling in really nice i'm not gonna lie comfrey you need to be cut again you're going down baby elderberry oh it's looking like the end of the year for you and and your friend over here i don't know what else to show you folks i was really hoping that my goji came back and it kind of came back you know what i mean like kind of Ah, it is what it is. Oh, volunteer deal. Echinacea. I'm really digging the coneflowers. Never had them before. I've got them in a couple of different spots. and They sure look nice. I don't know if they dry and self-seed. We'll find out next year. The Ella Campaign. Here's one of the more mature ones. It, I believe it is. Is it in Sunflower Family? I believe so. Um, apricot tree. Always the healthiest looking and always the least producing, baby. You know, it's like that good-looking person in the office that does SFA, sweet, flip all. They don't do nothing. Yeah, that's you. Now, this Ella campaign flowered. Look at how many flowers were on this. Oh, it was nice. Oh, it was so nice. Any, anything. Anything the flowers, you know. The, uh, the bees absolutely, absolutely love it. So, I have... Okay, so I've cleared these out. Um... My cut and come again that never got cut, so it didn't really come again. Uh, that's all gone. Um, I've got that sort of, you know, whatever kind of dug through. I have gone through this bed. Oh, hey, Thistle. <laughs> you weren't there the other day. Uh, these beets got to come out because I want to do some pickling, and you got to go because I have a whole bunch of lettuce and spinach and stuff, cold weather things that I've started out back uh, to go into these cold frames, which is convenient because, like, my hand's losing color. That's, that's pretty cool. Got some gourds from the mother. No, it's not just grief, it's gourds. <laughs> hey, mother-in-law, that is. Mima never gives me grief. You never give me grief, do you, Ma? All right. Uh, I, I weeded back here. Oh, 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 I, in fact, I don't know. Did I even take some pictures <laughs> of what this looked like prior uh, to some effort? But on the upside, I got myself. Oh, it has to be... It's got to be three, four pounds worth of dandelion root. The bloody dock is coming on nicely. I think I was half ass smart. I put it underneath the drip line so, you know, it gets water. I mean, most years I just would have put it back there where it's like drier than a popcorn fart. But, you know, you live and you learn. I got some yarrow that just popped up from whatever. This is the first year of it. So, obviously, those, those, uh, the seeds that will dry in those heads, they are to a certain extent viable. Um, I can dig those out and sell those next year. Yeah, these are all, um, when I very first put down this, uh, this wood mulch, 
and then I, uh, I brought in a little bit of compost to start plant stuff. All of a sudden, lettuce was growing. And I just let it go to seed. And then last year, more of it grew. And I let it go to seed. And then this is what I have this year. So again, I'm going to try and play the wind a little bit better this year. And I kind of want this all like a carpet of free-range lettuce. You know what I mean? I can thin it out. I can pot it up. I can eat it. I'll be the only one. That's going back out in in uh, in one of the beds up front. And uh, yeah. so there you go. There's a uh, front yard food forest September extravaganza for you. Dang, it's not very warm out here. So anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for joining me. If you have, I uh, I very much appreciate it. I do. I uh, I appreciate those of you that watch. I get a kick out of it. You know, I love all my subscribers. I'm like, what about the 75% of the ones that never watch what you do? Like, do you love them the same? I. These are things that I. Love you guys. Bye.